Hello students, we will start with economics chapter 2 that is people as a resource. The learning objectives of this chapter is that population is an asset for the economy rather than a liability. Population becomes human capital when there is investment made in the form of education, training and medical care. What is the meaning of people as a resource? People as a resource is a way of referring countries' working population in terms of their existing productive skills and abilities. Looking at the population from this productive aspect, it emphasizes its ability to contribute the creation of gross national product. Like other resources, population also is a resource. Human resource means that the knowledge, skills, training and the experience that an individual needs to produce the goods and services in an economy. In every society, people undertake various activities to satisfy their needs. And these activities are broadly classified into two groups, that is economic activities and non-economic activities. The activities in this sector result in the production of goods and services. These activities add value to the national income and these activities are known as economic activities. Economic activities are divided into two parts that is market activities and non-market activities. These activities include production of goods and services and these activities are performed for the salary and for profit. While non-economic activities are the production for self-consumption, these activities are per, uh, performed for self-consumption. For example, the mother cooks the food for family. The various activities have been classified into three main sectors that is primary sector, secondary sector and tertiary sector. Primary sector includes agriculture, forestry, animal husbandry, fishing, etc. While manufacturing and construction, they are included in the secondary sector. The, the economic activities which are related to manufacturing process, for example, manufacturing of steel, it comes under this category. Tertiary sector. Services like trade, transport, communication, banking and education, they are included in the tertiary sector. Quality of population. Quality of population depends upon the literacy rate, health of a person indicated by the life expectancy and skill formation acquired by the people of the country. The quality of population ultimately decides the growth rate of an economy. The first aspect of quality of population is education. The role of education in human capital formation. An important input for the growth. Education is an important input for the growth of an individual as well as for the society. Educated people earn more than the uneducated people. Literate population is an asset to an economy. It leads to higher productivity and it also opens new avenues for a person. It provides new aspiration and develops the value for the life. It contributes to the growth of the society and it enhances the national income and cultural richness. Sarv Siksha Abhyan Sarv Siksha Abhyan is a significant step towards providing elementary education to all the children in the age group of 6 to 14 years by 2010. It is a time-bound initiative of the central government with state and local government for achieving the goal of universalization of elementary education. Government has launched this abhyan to spread the education in the remote areas. 
मिड डे मील स्कीम हैज ऑल्सो बीन इम्प्लीमेंटेड अंडर दिस अभियान टू एनकरेज अटेंडेंस एंड रिटेंशन ऑफ द चिल्ड्रन एंड इम्प्रूव देयर न्यूट्रिशनल स्टेटस एज वेल इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो वी विल कवर द रिमेनिंग टॉपिक्स ऑफ दिस चैप्टर थैंक यू